Professor Wilkin has provided a strong case about the need to teach listening skills. But teaching listening is hard, and we need all the help we can get. Fortunately, technology provides resources that make teaching listening a lot easier and a lot more visual. We want to talk about four ways that technology can help. The first is to introduce students to opportunities to listen on the internet sites, such as Voice of America. Voice of America, as I pointed out earlier, contains a lot of interesting news stories that are presented in a way that is accessible to English language learners. It provides a great resource for teachers to work with as well. Second, technology allows us to create lessons focused on short lectures from, for example, TED-Ed or the TED Talks website. And we are going to take a look at that website in detail in a few minutes. This is a great resource. Third, teachers need to teach students how to become interested in listening to English. It is also important that students get a lot of practice listening to English outside of the classroom. And then fourth, teachers can encourage students to use the capabilities of technology to help them with their listening. They can encourage students to use resources such as subtitles, transcripts, repetition, reference materials, and images to provide listening support. All of these tools help students to better understand the spoken language in order to be able to prepare for their face-to-face -face conversations where these resources are not available. Hi, I'm Leila Karatay and I'm a PhD student in the Applied Linguistics and Technology program at Iowa State University. And in the past, I taught English in Turkey. My EFL teaching and research focus on oral communication skills, particularly second language listening. As a language learner and EFL teacher, I have first-hand experience with the challenges of learning and teaching listening skills in English. I know how important it is for students to be exposed to authentic language and a variety of accents and dialects to develop their listening skills. It is important to teach learners how to use strategies for top-down and bottom-up listening, predicting what they will hear and summarizing what they have heard. I know that practice is crucial for improving listening skills and teachers need to offer a variety of listening materials such as podcasts, news reports, and conversations to help students develop skills for understanding different types of spoken language. In an EFL context, technology can help a lot in providing opportunities for learners to develop effective skills and strategies for comprehending authentic language. Let's start with a great tool that my students and I really like in the next video.